Welcome to Color It Live, the only show on the internet where we talk about all things Color It and where we show off how you, our community, free your creativity every single day. We're your Color It Guides. I'm Lucy. And I'm So as of today, we have launched yet another book, and it's something that you guys have been asking for for a long time. And so we are launching Mandalas to Color Volume 4. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We're really happy and excited we're to launch this book, actually. We know a lot of you guys have been waiting. For so we're super excited as well. Um, so Mandala's Volume 4 is illustrated by Tirbit Basuki, and it strives to take the best elements of the three previous Mandala's books and create something original that we know you love. So um, I know that we have some people tuning in right now. The comments are flooding. So we just want to have, we, we want to say a quick hi to Pam, Amy, Donna, Stacy, Cheryl, Melissa, Mary, Jan, Barbara, hello, Barbara. Hi. A huge hello. <laughs> Cheryl, um, Amy, Becky, um, Patty, hello from Kansas, hello from Oklahoma, um, Marlene, Jean. So many people are here. We are so grateful that you are here and spending your time with us. Thank um, you for being here. Yes, and so we just like to jump in already. Um, yeah, so just like our last Color It Live, we are going to be a page from Mandala's Four, and we would love for you to color along with us. So if you guys have a previous version or a previous um, volume of Mandala's, go ahead and grab that. Or if you have other coloring books, you can go grab that as well. Just keep them close to you. We'll let you know when we're going to color along. Ready. Yes. And at this Color It Live, we'll be giving away five copies of the book to five lucky participants tonight. So these winners are from the pool of Freebie Friday submissions through our Facebook, our private Facebook group, or Color It, sorry, Color It Coloring Books, or through email at support at colorit.com. We'll only be choosing those who are present throughout the show. Yes, and so if you've submitted a Freebie Friday page featuring the Mandala's pages, go ahead and comment. I shared my page in the comment section already. And so I think it's time to do a quick flip through of the Mandala's book. All right, here we go. And so I'm going to flip through here. I hope you can see the pages. So we are going to flip through. And so this page right here is a blotter page. Like there is a blotter page included in all the books. Right. Hey, we'll just quickly flip through these. Okay. We have a page, we have a few pages colored already, actually. Lucy, do you want to talk about um, the book? Sure. So this fourth volume of Mandalas features classic mandalas that are symmetrical. So mandalas are so interesting because they help us connect to life's cyclical nature, life and death, the phases of the moon, the seasons, and many more. Um, so you can see here with the flip through, um, the illustrations are actually quite diverse. There are photos, there are pages with thicker lines and there are pages with thinner lines as well. And the level of detail are quite diverse. And so it just calls for a diverse and um, different meditative experience for each page. Some pages can uh, take you two hours. Some pages will take you eight hours. <laughs> so we've actually colored in a couple of pages already ourselves. And um, I would like to show everybody. Look to my page. Um, yes, here we go. I already colored in this page. Um, and Lucy colored in the same page as well. Colored in the same page. 
We actually prepared this last night. I spent about five hours coloring this page and I didn't even notice that five hours had passed because I was just so in the zone. I was, I just lost myself through coloring. What yeah. about you? Yeah, I, well, okay. So let's both show our pages side by side. Yes, there we go. I took about eight hours doing this. Wow. <laughs> I'm not eight hours. It took me a while because I wanted to get the colors perfect, you know, but, um, and I wanted to get them uh, stink. What do you call this? I wanted harmony in the pages. So the theme that I was thinking of, beach, you know, I want to be on the beach right now, I want to be warm. <laughs> and so I wanted to use a lot of blues and also bright yellow. Okay, so let's just finish the flip. I used a lot of warm colors for my page because I knew that May was going to be using cool colors. So I wanted to see what I could do with warm colors on my page instead. So I used a lot of reds and oranges and some like pinks and some browns too, just to know, keep it a little neutral. I think it came together pretty okay. Also with these mandalas pages, I, I actually prefer personally like thicker lines in my pages because whenever I make a mistake or if the color for the medium that I use like go over the line a little bit, it's not as noticeable as if I if as if as if I were coloring like a page with really thin lines. It's a lot more difficult for me to color in. But that's just personally. Okay, that's it. And so I know that we've flipped through kind of close to the book. And so if you want to see the full pages, we have a flip through video that is available on our website and our YouTube channel. So you can check that out after the show if you want to see the pages of the mandalas. Okay, so um, I think everybody, there are a lot of people commenting as well. Um, Mary has shared her page. Amy says, I don't have any mandala. Seeing the clip, I am loving that. Oh, yes. thank you. Thank you. It's available on Amazon. Nancy said it's one of her favorite books. Can't wait to see your submissions, Nancy. Becky says, I love pattern, patterns and mandala. And even if a Yes, like you do get lost in the intricacies of it. Um, and I, like, like I said, I got lost in it for eight hours. <laughs> yes, we're so sorry that you guys can't see the link that flipped through um, in the comments section. So you can check it out. Becky says that she likes using mandalas to the medium pencil. Pens or markers. Yes, uh, mandalas are, are a great way to, to check um, color harmony, mediums. Um, they're a great way, they're a great um, piece of art to just experiment with. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, so. so. So our color along today will actually be different as we'd like to invite you to join us in our active meditation using this for coloring book. You can grab an old mandalas book or any book you'd like to color in. You can even print a page from one of our previous Freebie Fridays that we posted and get your coloring materials and mediums and spend in our active meditative color along. Yes, and so while um, you're gathering your coloring materials, I would like to invite everybody to sit in mindful silence and wait for our fellow colorists to get ready. So Lucy and I will actually be finishing our pages. We haven't finished our pages just quite yet. And we will be finishing this with you today. Okay, so to start off, we would like to get into a relaxed state of mind. Um, we will do a little bit of 
breathing exercises, just a couple of deep breaths, just to achieve a quieter mind. Deeply inhaling through the nose, holding our breath just for one moment and slowly release. So we'll keep doing this while we color. And so now it's time to dive into From my page, I'm going to be filling um, these little portions here with the marker shade Fancy Yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right now, I'm using from our watercolor brush pens this shade of Outspoken Orange. So while we color, again, just allow yourself to just zone out. While coloring this portion here, like blend, um, with a little bit of marmalade, marmalade colors. I'm using colors to blend. I'd just like to know what everybody else is I colored a bit outside of the lines, but you know, um, there, so did I. <laughs> there are no mistakes in art, just happy act. I think it was Bob Ross who said that. I agree with Becky, unintentional design choices. You now sometimes the universe kind of decides for you.
think I'm actually going to use a blotter page back of my drawing just so that I preserve the drawing behind this. Amazingly, I'm using watercolor pens and it hasn't once seeped through. I haven't used the blotter page for my page yet, but yeah, not even the back of the page. Color it paper. I have really been um, into gradients recently. I think you can tell with my page that I am practicing um, my gradients some more. I don't you know, are you guys using um, another technique? Let us know. Share your tips. Share your tips. I'm trying to create a gradient between the orange shade and the yellow shade of blue, and I hope that translates on camera. I think I'm just going to color in everything. Um, mandalas are great. Like, um, what I love about it are they're just patterns. That you can repeat one portion of the mandala you can then transfer that onto the other side of the mandala because it is symmetrical. I usually like going through our coloring group colored coloring books and seeing one specific page being colored by so many different people and seeing you know their own interpretations of it it amazes me how, you know, many different ideas and interpretations everybody has, you know, everybody's freeing their creativity. And I would love to see how you guys would color in this page as well in the future. We do have a coloring book group, a color it coloring book here on Facebook. So if you are not part of it yet, you can just search for it after the show and then send your request. So many people give beautiful pages. Um, we saw that a lot of people have been sending jungle pages as well because that was the previous book just launched. Oh no, I had another happy act. That's fine. I think I'm going to um, add a bit of shading here at the end part of this model. I'm moving on to this color called Trusty Tangerine. I don't know if you can see it. There. Trusty Tangerine. Do you generally use three colors? Well, for this page or this page, I'm coloring in the blue window. Um, I use multiple shades of blue, um, all from our Color It Markers set. Um, and if you are interested, I will be posting this in our private Color It Coloring Books group and letting you guys know what the shades are. But I like adding this um, pop of yellow and orange just to give it a bit more life. And like I said, I was inspired by the beach. And so the shades of yellow and orange kind of remind me of both the sun and the sun. So I'm kind of using Nyla's tip um, 
the torch. Nyla uh, tips. Uh, Nyla Vogel, if anyone, if Nyla's here, hello. She said to mix the markers while it's wet so that the gradients pop out even more. Blend even more, I mean. It's funny because at first I looked at this page while it was blank and I thought, hmm, these look like butterfly wings, but I really want to go with a the beach theme. And I didn't know if it would work, but I actually think it looks pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks great. I think that's something that everyone should practice, being proud of what they make. I tried to match my eye makeup <laughs> with the colors I used on I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a lot of reds and some Beautiful. yellows. Oh, I've moved on to this color, which is Sweet Ginger. I was initially going to use so many more colors on this, but I ended up with only like five main colors. And initially, this is not how I intended for this page to turn out, but you know, the universe had other plans for me. We are releasing a couple more books soon, so stay tuned for that. There are exciting um, pages that I think a lot of you will really enjoy. exactly sure if my pace is fast or slow. I am really just enjoying and taking my time. Maybe this is why I took eight hours. <laughs> this may be one of my favorite that we've had this year so far. We've only had three. But let us know which of those releases that we've had are your favorites. So we've had Color It Fairies, Color It Jungle, and now I didn't realize it, but actually listening to the marker scratch on the paper actually right, like also really very black.
the relaxing music helps. I want to know, what does everybody do when they feel like they're stuck on a page, like they don't know how to proceed? That's, that's what I'm feeling right now. Colors to use next. Do you have any advice for me? Maybe let me know in the comments. Hi, Narav. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. No, I'm just gonna go for it. Whatever. Let's see where this page takes oh. us. Cheryl says, close your eyes and pick a color. Oh, okay. I'll do that for my next, for the next color. I might do that with no. Okay, I am finished with my warm shades. Okay, let me try to pick a color. And you guys, I'm following Cheryl's advice. I will pick a color for my mark. Ah, Hunter Green. Okay. I think I might use that actually for the border. I was planning to use a dark shade, and so it works out. I might blend this though. Oh, so, by the way, this shade I'm using is called Faithful Fuchsia. You guys can see it there. Faithful Fuchsia. Okay, um, I prepared a little swap. And so I'm just referring to this D. Um, what I can blend Hunter Green with. I'm going to blend it with Shade Sage. good. Are you going to do the same? Pick a random color? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm only really using these. Wait, actually no. So you guys can see I will random color here. I'm going to close my eyes and like decide. Let the universe decide for you. Oh, let the universe decide for me. Mm. I just used this color. I guess the universe likes this fuchsia. Mm. Mm. I'm really trying to keep the gradient theme of it, but sage might be a little too light. I will switch to Seafoam blue. I might use three shades for the blend. Okay. Oh yeah.
Oh, oh. Happy accident. When you have like two markers on your hand and sometimes you just switch to the wrong one. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. What are you going to do with your page when you're done with I'm going to post this on our coloring book. Color it coloring books group. Yeah. As I was coloring this page partially last night, my mom passed by and she was like, can I have it? <laughs> your mom asked for your page? Yep. That's cute. So I might rip this off and give it to my mom. Maybe get a little frame. I actually share my book with my mom. She loves coloring. She does it. She does um, color a few pages or color just one page <laughs> at night before she sleeps because it gives her the best sleep. So she clicks. My mom likes seeing when I color and then she goes, can I do that too? But she wants to like, <laughs> just do my page that i'm still currently working on oh she looks so she would like to work on the page that you're working on yeah this time i'm using red. Oh. Oh. i really need to um if you have tips maybe i shouldn't put um all these markers in one hand <laughs> That, that actually looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Becky says, I'm 54 and my mom still wants me to see the first stuff I colored. Aww, I That's love that. Cute. You know, every time I finish a page and I proudly she actually says, can I have that? <laughs> can you give it to me? It'll be great if one day I could get my dad in <laughs> sometimes he'll pass by he'll be like wow that's so nice that's great i'll be like join me <laughs> and he just says maybe later <laughs> one of these days i also invited my dad and same it's a great um date night activity actually Would you take your date coloring? I would. Great way to get a conversation in, um, kind of show off your artistic chops. <laughs> and later on, you could explain to each other your artistic choices. Why these colors? Why a gradient? Why did you keep this color block? Um, I don't know. I think that's a great, that's a fun <laughs> date, you know. Activity. Have you tried that painting activity in the mall where they have like a stall where you can like buy one of those yeah. like murals or not murals, one of those like, what do you call it? Like a statue? This is sort of similar. It's pretty much the same thing. I think it's starting to get there. If you can see my progress. Beautiful. I think we're getting some. What do you guys think this looks like? Because I'm not very sure what I think this looks like. 
some kind of whirlpool of it looks very fireworks. Um, trippy. Like you know those in, in those movies, like those black and whirl. You know, when they're like they're going down a rabbit hole. Oh, it's like the pink <laughs> He just says the jungle book is a winner for sure. It really is. Pam says I start coloring my. I was thinking of that too, but um, I still wanted to keep the beach theme of the page, and so I started with these. This border right here because it really did remind me. Of Mine's more like a dynamite or like a firework. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a firework. I'm back to outspoken orange. dry out a bit, go over it, so just to shades pop out even. thought of the beach um, because I think that's where I'm most when was the last time you went to the beach uh, yeah. I was able to go a couple of weeks ago I haven't swam at the beach for like I feel like it's been a year been a tough year. <laughs> it's been a tough year. But um, yeah, I love the beach because mandalas are very relaxing, and so I wanted the relaxing theme of it. And beach is where my mind went. What's the best beach you've ever been to? Well, since we live in a tropical country, mm -hmm. um, I immediately go to probably El Nido, El Nido in the Philippines. I've been there too. The beaches are amazing. We are coming to you live from the Philippines, by the way. It's about 9.45 a.m. What time is it where you guys are from? Oh, I was about to make a happy accident. How that many is that? Make very happy. How many happy accidents have you had today? Why not? You should just title your page, My Happy Accident.
Oops. Back. Okay, we are back. We're back. Hello. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Another happy accident. Not that happy, but we have to adjust anyway. Hope you guys can hear us. Please let us know if you cannot hear us. We'll try to have this fixed. Sounds good. Oh, okay, that's good. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> Welcoming ourselves back. So I don't know if you guys were able to hear what I was saying earlier. But I was saying that these are actually my first um, time trying watercolor brush pens. So last night I was struggling a little bit because I'm new to the feel of these pens. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. But I would love to know if you have more tips on how I could more creatively, you know, get the most out of these of watercolor brush pens. Because as I said, I'm more into alcohol markers than any other medium. How about you, May? I am very comfortable with markers and so... <laughs> I don't think I've maximized my um, time and my skills with markers just yet. Well, Pam says, I ordered mandalas for today. I'll have it by Thursday. Yes. So exciting. I'm excited for you to get it. We hope, I hope to see you color this page as well, you know, if it speaks to you. I'd love yes. to see everybody else's page, you know. Okay, um, okay progress check. Um, how is your page doing? Um, my... This is so far what I have done with my border. So I have done this like green shade here. Um, so I actually want to finish this, but I think we are running out of time. Already? Wow. Yes. And so this is my page. I hope you guys can see it. Yeah. How about yours? Lucy? Okay, let me show you my page. Give me just like 10 seconds. I want to finish just this portion. So I don't leave it feeling uneven. So this is my page progress. Oh, let's do a side by side. Okay. Wow. Different interpretations of the same page. I will um, try to stick to the same color scheme. And I actually am thinking of using um, gel pens with these smaller portions. I love, same. I would love to put some glitter on this because you know, when you're looking at the sea, um, it kind of glints out in the horizon. All right, and so, yes. I think that is about it for our color along for today. Um, I will be posting my completed page in the Color It Coloring Books group. How about you? As will I. Okay, so um, yes, if anybody is coloring along tonight as well, you may want to post it in our Color It Coloring Books group. Um, just say that you came from the Color Along session during our launch of Mandala's 4. 
And um, it, talking about submissions, we have a couple of submissions already. Earlier during the live show, we said that we would be choosing a couple of winners um, who will get to win a free copy of Mandala's Four. And so I think we do have those winners already. Mm -hmm. We just like to remind everyone the criteria for us choosing the winners. It was to submit a page from last week's Freebie Friday to our email at support at color.com. And you have to be present during the show for you to avail this book, this prize. So. Okay. Our color at team is also hard at work replying to your your queries online and so i think we have just enough time to announce who the winners are okay we would like to say congratulations to our first winner miss leslie robinson congrats leslie congrats leslie you get to win a copy of mandala's volume four please just send us an email saying that you won and then we will make sure to get this book out to you as soon as we can our next winner is, I hope I'm not butchering your name, Michelle Effing. Effing, yes. Um, congratulations, congratulations Michelle. Michelle. You also get a copy of Mandela's Four. And last but not the least, Pam Lindley. Congratulations, Pam. You get a copy of Mandela's Four. Congratulations. We hope to see your submissions. We will be searching them up after the show so that we ourselves yes. can see them too. Yes. Um, if you enjoy our short, our, sorry, being tongue tied, I'm still in that state of Zen, the coloring. If you enjoyed our show today, please let us know. Um, if you enjoyed the meditative coloring um, session that we did, please let us know as well. Did you like the background music? I especially loved the relaxing feel of it. So if you want that in the next coloring session, do let us know. We still want to improve each episode, each color it live that we do. And so any suggestions, we're very open to it. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, so a couple of last shout outs. Um, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you, Dina, Pam, uh, Amy, Sandra, Leslie. Um, and and Cheryl, thank you everybody for hi Ryan, hi Ryan. Thank you everybody for um, participating and talking to us through the comment section. Um, we thank would you so love much to do this again. But as you know, we will be doing this. We will be back. We will next be back month with a new book. Have any guesses what it is? <laughs> I don't know. If I'll say it yet, but you probably know it already. Um, and so we will see you in a couple of weeks when we yep. launch a new book. So once again, we want to thank everyone for joining us today in our active meditation. We hope to see your colored pages that you colored in with us in our group, Color It Coloring Books. And we hope you find your zen when you color in your Mandala's Four book. And find your, find your zen just in general through coloring and continue to spread kindness while freeing your creativity. This has been Lucy and May. And may you lose your envisions and free your creativity. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everybody. Till next time.